Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm talking about nylon in this video. I've been printing with nylon on my Da Vinci Pro printer and it really comes out beautifully. It's, it's great. Uh, the thing you have to know is the, the heat settings. It's 230 degrees for the uh, nozzle. Uh, it's uh, 80 degrees for the print bed. For the print bed I use Captain Tape uh, and on the Captain Tape I use a bit of hairspray to, to make it stick. And also I use a very slow print uh, speed. I use only 15 millimeters a second. So it's, it's really slow, but the prints are great. It, the results are, are magnificent. One thing you have to know about nylon is that it has uh, the tendency to suck up moisture. So uh, the moist in the air will be sucked up by the nylon and uh, that will make the nylon very difficult uh, to keep for longer periods. So after you have printed with nylon, the best thing you can do is take it off the printer again and bring it back in something which is, uh, yeah, w w which will hold it from getting new air around it and sucking up moist. So what I do, I take the plastic bag, which I open, and I put in this nylon filament and somewhere here there is also some silica gel, but I've lost it, I think. Oh, here it is. It's inside already. Uh, so here I've got the spool, some silica gel, uh, and an open bag. And the way to close it is that you uh, suck this one in, into your vacuum cleaner. After you have sucked this complete end into your vacuum cleaner, uh, then the whole thing is uh, sucked out with air and uh, then you can turn it around so you can make a knot in it and no air will get through it anymore. The way to do it is to make a loose knot in it and uh, that you suck in also and then you're going to tighten it. So when you do that uh, you see that there is no air coming in anymore. I can show you, but I can't speak when I'm showing you, because the, the vacuum cleaner makes a lot of noise. So you will see what I mean. It's completely sucked in, it's airtight, uh, and this way I can prevent my spool from picking up new moist. And now I can store it on a dry location. Uh, put this one here. And that's the best way to keep your uh, nylon filament stored, because it's really sucking up moist if you store it in another way. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, and please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, tell me you hate me or whatever you like to do. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like that. And you can also find me on Thingiverse. The link for my Thingiverse account is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching.